everyone, it's Mari. I'm back again today for Honeybee Stamps and Happy Easter. I'm going to be creating an Easter theme card here today using the Easter Basket Builder Stamps and Coordinating Honey Cuts. This is just a beautiful stamp set full of all kinds of different images that you can stamp and die cut for your sweet little basket, including those little sets of bunny ears at the bottom, which are so adorable, some florals, some Easter eggs, all kinds of little bits for your Easter basket. Of course, in true um, honeybee style, there is a coordinating honey cut set, a die set that cuts out all of the little bits from that stamp set, which is extremely helpful and useful. I love it when there's a coordinating die. I'm going to be using a piece of patterned paper from the Fresh Brewed 6x6 uh, paper pad. Honeybee has the best paper pads, in my opinion. I am going to stamp out the basket with some Versifying Claire uh, Nocturne ink. I'm going to stamp that out onto that patterned paper and then you can see that I have die cut it out. It's in the upper right hand corner there. I'm going to also um, stamp out and die cut the little napkin or the cloth that's lining the basket. It's just going to be hanging out on the edge of the basket there. I want to do some Copic coloring. So I did uh, stamp this out in some Copic friendly ink on some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And I'm just going to be using some BG 10, 11 and 13, I believe, to color in this cloth. Now, I'm not gonna show you coloring the entire thing. I'll just show you coloring the one section because I color it all exactly the same. So I start with the lightest color first, the BG 10, then I drop in a little bit of the, the medium shade and blending that back and forth a little bit with those different colors. In fact, I go a little bit with the tip to tip method here as well, just to get a soft and smooth blend between the different colors. So there you can just see me finishing that up and I will be moving on to die cutting that out. So I'm just going to take the coordinating die and stick that on with a little bit of low tack tape and run that through my die cutting machine. You can see how that just fits beautifully over the edge of the uh, the basket it just coordinates perfectly now i'm going to stamp out a little egg and foliage stamp here that's part of the easter basket builder set i'm going to stamp that out with some copic friendly ink again and i am going to color that with these colors that you can see on the screen so i'm going to just use some really soft past pastel rainbow colors here to color in the eggs i'm mostly just using a two color blend here going in with the lighter color and then the dark darker color of the two color blend to do a little bit of shading at the bottom of the egg. So the lightest color there will be uh, all over the entire egg and then just going in with that second color around the edge of the foliage and then at the bottom. And if it looks really good, I actually don't even blend that second color out, uh, depending on how the transition is between the lighter and the darker. For that violet there, you can see that I did blend that out, but for some of the colors, I, it doesn't take too much effort because the colors blend a little bit better. So now I'm just using a soft pink here. Uh, this is, I think, our... 81 and 83 possibly. I did leave the caps there where you can see them so that you can see uh, which two colors I use for each of these two color blends on these eggs. But yes, I just am going for a really nice light pastel for spring and Easter uh, blend with these colors. I started with the blue green and I'm going to finish with the blue green here. I just wanted to use those four different colors for my eggs and just going to finish that up. I will do a little bit with that foliage that's in amongst there, those little palm leaves or um, the green foliage. I'm going to go ahead and just use a little bit of um, greens here. Actually, I end up using a few different colors of green because I wanted to brighten the green up at the bottom of the foliage a little bit. So you'll just see me going in with that one color and then I will uh, come in with a few different colors of green to just brighten the green up a tiny little bit. And so I'm just experimenting with the different colors and blending them together here to see which, which final color I want to finish off with here. So just messing around with my different greens and experimenting a little bit until I get the right hue of color at the bottom of those different uh, foliage sections on my card or for my piece here. Just going to finish that up. 
and then I will die cut that out as well. Now there is of course two little sets. There's a set of two bunny stamp, bunny ear stamps uh, on the stamp set as well. I'm gonna use the the set that has the full ears. The other, the other stamp in this set has a bent ear. I'm just gonna color these up with some W grays and then I'll use an E01 for the pink in the ears. Just going in again with a lighter color and adding some shadow with the darker gray. Then I will take the coordinating honey cut again, use some low tack tape and run that through my die cut machine so that there we have our sweet little bunny ears and you can see how these different pieces coordinate together just to create this sweet little basket. So this basket builder is so much fun. There's so many different ways that you can create your basket. Now I wanna do a little bit of ink blending for the background or for, the, for my card front which is going to be behind my basket. So I'm using the basket weave stencil. I'm going to put a piece of cardstock down on my glass mat there. I'm using some Sizzix sticky grid to get my um, cardstock to stick to my glass mat. I'm going to tape my stencils down, my stencil down to that cardstock and to my mat and blend over top of that with three different colors. I start off with some pink fresh meadow and then I use a combination of aqua marine and tidal pool. And tidal pool is the darkest color. So I start off with meadow. I blend on a little bit of aqua marine over top of that. It just creates this really nice soft pastel green kind of aqua green background. And I am using a Honeybee Stamps blending brush for this. I'm using one of the larger brushes, which is nice for a large area like this. And you'll just see me blending on that ink. It's just going on so nicely. I do believe I used a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock for this ink blending. And I do find that that uh, cardstock does allow for the dye ink to blend just super nicely. You end up with a really nice smooth blend. And then I'm finishing off with a Tidal Pool from Pink Fresh. And this is just the darkest color. And it's it's just a really nice deep um, sort of a aqua green color. So I'm going to take the stencil off right away and have the reveal of that pattern, which is going to be a really nice uh, base for my little basket element. Now I am going to use the basket weave slimline cover plate here. I've die cut that out of some white cardstock and I'm going to adhere it down to another piece of cardstock. Now I'm going to take my double stitched ovals and I'm going to cut an oval out of that. The reason why I glued the basket weave down is because if you don't, the, the different little cuts in the basket weave start to, um, they don't stay sort of attached together when you cut it again out of the oval. So if you glue it down to another piece of paper, it will stay all intact when you cut the oval out of it. So I do recommend doing that. I am going to use the A2 double stitch dies frames and I'm going to use that on my stenciled piece. So now you can see these all layering on my A2 size card base, which is 110 pound Nina. A2 size card base. So I am going to take my little basket. I have cut the basket from two pieces of craft cardstock as well, just to make it a little bit thicker and more stable because my initial layer that I stamped on um, that pattern paper is just a normal weight of pattern paper. So it's a little bit more thin than cardstock. I wanted that to be a little thicker. So I did glue all three layers the pattern paper and two layers of cards, craft cardstock together for my basket. And now I'm going to start to build my basket. So I'm going to glue that uh, napkin or the cloth on. I'm going to glue the, um, the eggs on the back of the basket. And then I'm also going to glue my little bunny on the back of my eggs and my foliage there. So you can just see, it looks like the little Easter bunny is hiding behind the basket. It's so cute. I love how that turned out. Now I'm going to take my card panel here and I'm going to adhere some double-sided foam adhesive to the back of it so that it has some dimension on my card base. So I covered the entire back of this basket weave panel with that foam adhesive. And now I'm going to just um, center it on my card base and just leave a little bit of white margin around the edges. I'm going to take that same foam tape and adhere some of that to the back of my oval. 
um, that has my basket weave pattern on it and I'm going to center that on my card front and get that adhered down and then this is all going to be the base for my basket. Now this card does have quite a bit of dimension. If that's not something that you enjoy and you don't want, you don't have to use all of that foam adhesive, that's for sure. Now I am going to do some heat embossing here. So I have stamped out my sentiment onto some black cardstock with some um, embossing ink, which is just a clear ink. I'm using some white embossing powder that I have added to that ink and I am going to heat that up in a second here. I'm just showing you the sentiment set. This is the um, Hoppy Easter sentiment set and there's a coordinating die set for that as well. This is uh, such a wonderful uh, sentiment set. There's a ton of different sentiments in there. Now I have heat up and melted the, the black sentiment piece but I also wanted to show you I made one out of white and I leave tell me in the comment section which one you like better the black or the white I had a really hard time deciding I liked the pop of black but really what I was going for here is a really soft card so I decided to go with the white and I think they both look good now I have popped up my basket on some foam adhesive again more dimension and I'm going to adhere that down to my oval and I have also I'm also popping up on some with some foam adhesive the sentiment and so this one is is also heat embossed the white sentiment piece is also heat embossed but I stamped with black ink and I use clear embossing powder for that now I am going on to some nouveau shimmer pen and I'm going to add that to all of the different areas that I Copic colored and that's just going to add a little bit of sparkle and for a little bit more sparkle I am adding some stickles you'll notice that I left the trim on that napkin I left the trim open I didn't color it at all my idea was to use some stickles on that area and so I'm using some diamond stickles on that section and then I'm just using a coordinating color on each of the eggs so on the pink egg I use pink stickles and so on and so forth and I'm just adding little dots of stickles in each of those areas just to create a little bit more sparkle and shine and also a little bit more dimension on my card because um, this card needed more dimension <laughs> It's very, very uh, dimensional for sure. I love how it looks though. I really like the nice soft nature of this card. I think it's just a really happy spring and Easter card when it's all finished up here. I thank you so much for stopping by today and uh, checking out my video. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you have an amazing Easter. Stay safe, stay well. Check the description box below for links to all of the products that I used today and have an amazing day friends and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.